here's our, here's our milk tray that we're trying to secure. Um, a restriction says you can't open it, Susanna. You can't eat those chocolates yet and benefit from refinancing those chocolates. Um, but, I, but the person putting a restriction on can't also take a chunk of those chocolates out. Um, it just stops me opening the box and refinancing or selling these chocolates on. A, ch a charge eventually says, you know, should you default, says, I'm going to tear open the box and I'm going to eat my share of those chocolates. So for the investor, my general understanding is a charge is a stronger instrument for them because they can eat the chocolates, whereas a, a restriction more or less stops me refinancing or selling the chocolates. So um, it's up to you and the investor. Um, and I, I, I mean, you can do lots of restrictions, uh, uh, lots of charges. I like to kind of one on one really um, and also remember you must have a folder on the admin side and remember who has got what i recently refunded um, my last large investor 140 grand and, and their interest so 160 grand it was a couple of years do you remember the lady i said phoned me on the way to hay on Wye and said um i've got 140 grand i was waiting till it was in the bank before i phoned you to tell you would you like it uh yeah <laughs> um, I recently refunded her and part of the agreement was that she was to lift the restrictions and uh, bless, hadn't got that ready. Um, so the money was sat there and I was saying, uh, you know, there's no fallout or anything, but I was saying, the money's here, can confirm the money's here, can show you screenshots the money's here, but I need the restrictions lifted because um, it's all very well and, and, you know, smashing woman, but nonetheless, um, not a professional in terms of a, you know, FCA regulated person. So I, I hadn't, I wanted to very much make sure that the full thing happened. It's very exciting lending money. It's very exciting getting interest. The boring stuff of making sure your lawyer lifts the restrictions may not always be uppermost in the mind. And so I sat there going, have you lifted the, are you ready to lift the restrictions? No. OK, so I'm going to hand the money back the second you're ready to lift them, because otherwise I wasn't. There may have been more exciting things that that person would do rather than bother lifting restrictions, which would then give me a problem. I'd have to chase legally and pay lawyers and I don't really want to do that. Or I wouldn't be able to refinance or move my properties around. So I, I said, look, it's ready completely ready but please do your end of the bargain and one thing that's also very sensible to do so there was no difficulty there and she had a moment of frustration but it, uh, there was two choices either she had a moment of frustration or I have a moment of frustration and given that I've paid very beautiful amount of interest over a couple of years period I felt the frustration and the work should be done by the lender um, so the other thing to do is when you're doing private finance is make sure you have a letter when you've paid everybody back to say, I can agree that this is full and final settlement. Um, I've never had a problem with a lender ever, but you just out of sensibleness, make sure that uh, they, through their lawyer, agree it's full and final settlement. You don't want someone coming back later um, with something that you hadn't agreed, but they feel they've got a claim to.